I wanted to try three new video to AI video features that I hadn't tried before or had just popped up this week. So the first is Runway's multi brush tool. And I wanted to give that a try. And I brought up an, a reference image from Peaky Blinders. And so I had one guy moving towards me, another guy moving away from me and some smoke in the background moving. Look great. Downside is that <laughs> the guy in the foreground, his hair keeps metamorphosizing into a hat. It was doing well with the first generation, with the first one, because I hadn't had any camera movement, just the three blocks of movement on the shot. And uh, it, his legs actually were walking the first time round, and at least mostly until he tripped over himself. With my second attempt, I added some camera movement and that really warped his leg. I think the more movement elements you add, the less likely that it is that the whole thing is going to look authentic. The other problem, of course, is that when face is metamorphosized, these animations are all coming out of slow motion and you could speed them up. But the problem is you would really notice the metamorphosis from one face to another face or from hair to hat or from normal legs to Inspector Gadget legs. So the other thing I wanted to try was Kaiba. After the last test I did, I wanted to see if I could get my characters to look a little bit more like the character in my movie that I've imagined. And I keep describing her as Margot Robbie blended with Kate Beckinsale with brunette hair. And in the prompts, I keep doing that. And it gives me fairly consistent results. It worked to some degree. I got a character who looked more like my blended Kate Beckinsale and Margot Robbie rather than the original actress, Danny, who was in this scene. So there is a setting of Evolve. It's the waiting between the prompt and the original reference video. Evolve of one means that it doesn't evolve very much at all from the original video into something that the prompt is describing. And that looked like this. Why don't we go and find a quiet corner to go and talk? And then I tried Evolve 10 to see what the max was, and that looked a lot more like the prompt. Why don't we go and find a quiet corner to go and talk? still not entirely nighttime and which is what I really wanted a nighttime scene it's still clinging to some degree to the uh, the very broad daylight original video shots that we were using great results though very impressed and then finally onto Lensgo and the new style transfer uh, feature which is essentially where you take a reference image and your video to AI video picks all the graphics and the imagery from the reference image I ran it a couple of times and it looked like this why don't we go and find a quiet corner to go and talk? I like the results. Really strong resemblance to the idea of a nighttime bar. Although the lighting isn't as cinematic as Mid Journey, it, it does have a lot of elements of the reference image, but still starts to blend away into its own realm. So getting there. Definitely getting there. Some great results overall. Very exciting uh, developments in AI this week. Let's see what next week brings. It'd be brilliant if somebody would start to bring out something that will allow animated faces to remain animated in video to AI video. Let's see.